Welcome to MASF UFC. thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVing. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 179 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Express. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times. Obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. is palpable. On one side, you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's and when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. Wow, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Nice strike. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh! Punch lands over the top. A 
How's he gonna follow this one? I mean, he's cut them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice straight there by Lee. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. And there comes the separation now. Just over two minutes to go. Nice loop and punch. Nice watch right under the elbow. How about that chin? Punch is blocked. Got the single collar tie. Beautiful right hook counter. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Hands higher, hands higher. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up? A beautiful strike like that speed with you see very short. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, start, he'll change his stance. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated. Job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Good stick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Changes his stance. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. To the jab now, no good. Wow, what a kick! Huge kick lands. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh! Just out of range with that right hand. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, collar tie. Oh, 
just misses with the kick. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land beautiful punches to the head. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Huge block there. One two punch by Lee. Nice body kick. Nice punch, man. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to go with that was the right time. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and marched right through it to get the knockout. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 1 minute, 16 seconds of round number 3. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.